guys, welcome to another video. This painting is of a family of five, and it's actually the same size as the one I did for my family as well. It's a 36 by 48 inch stretched canvas, which is basically 3 by 4 feet. If you guys haven't watched my three part series of me painting my family, then just click the link above. Before I started taking videos, I already made the basic outline and basic underpainting. You've probably already seen some parts of this painting done on my other videos. I did a video on a paint with me where this section of the face was featured and then I did another one where it's basically a tutorial on how to paint the folds in clothing. When I first started painting, I actually struggled a lot with painting clothes because I didn't understand how to paint the folds and the wrinkles. But I was able to sort of develop a system so that I know now the steps and how to get it done and it works every time. So this clip right here is a very good representation of how your underpaint, uh, underpaint in this background can be very important but also not because I just completely covered it up when I decided to change the background because I wanted a different feel. So yeah. I decided to do sort of like a gradient type of feel where it's brown and then it's yellowish gold-ish in the middle and then lighter on the left side. Simple backgrounds like this really help the people in the portrait to stand out more and not get covered by the background. This shirt was actually one of my favorite parts of this painting. When you are painting a shirt with some sort of print or design on it, make sure you set the base first, get all the shading and the folds done before you place the pattern on top. Something I'd like to remind everyone, and especially myself, when you're painting is to be aware of your posture. Whenever you're painting, I notice that I would always be slouched over, especially because when I'm making big paintings, I do them mostly on the floor. Um, it's just I'm able to move better when it's on the floor. But the thing is, I noticed that my neck um, and my back would start to hurt because I'm always slouched over. So yeah, just be aware of your posture, do some neck exercises, I do them a lot. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone down in the comments who, you know, give me encouragement, who give requests as well. Um, you guys really encourage and motivate me and it also helps me to make better content. 